I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a, a, a shotgun blast. All right, we're ready. <laughs> Hallelujah. So get ready, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for us. Amen. Amen. So praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. So welcome everybody. All of you that are joining us by audio or video. We want to receive you and uh, let you know uh, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. We need to prepare whatever God has for us. Yeah. I want it. Amen. Yeah. And you know what? He's always want to bless us. <laughs> Maybe sometimes your blesser is not ready. <laughs> yeah. But he wants to bless us. Yeah. And the problem is not with him blessing you. It's you receiving. Amen. Amen. So we got to get right with him yeah. and be, uh, how's this, uh, be in, uh, in tune with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Re have relationship. That's yes. what I was looking for. Have relationship with him. Amen. Yeah. Not once in a while, not just on Sunday basis, but yeah. every every day. Amen. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Uh, those of you that are listening by audio, that are uh, watching by video, we just want to let you know, uh, I'm going to be reviewing some handouts that I've given the church <coughs> over the year. Amen. And this is just basic things that we cannot walk away from That's basic right. things that is good for us in, yeah. in our walk with him. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. And I'll read them to you as, as we go on. So you prepare yourselves to receive. God wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. It's Thank you. Hallelujah. Right. So we're, I'm getting, I'm getting excited. I mean, well, I am excited. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about it, being excited. But anyway, grab your swords, grab your Bible. Mm -hmm. And say it like a man at church, amen. It says, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord, amen. Uh, we're going to be talking about... Well, you, we're still on this series about opening the new year with a bang. Amen. Yeah, yeah, opening yeah, this yeah. new year with a bang. And what is bang? Mm -hmm. If you forgot, I want to review a few things. But bang is excitement, enthusiasm. Yeah. Amen. Rejoicing, being glad. Amen. Believers should be the happiest people on earth. Why? Right. Because we're on God's winning team. Yeah. If you go by winning and losing, we don't lose. <laughs> if we're on his winning team, we're not losers. Right. And don't allow yourself to be called a loser Amen. because you're not. You're on God's team. Yeah. Amen. And remember, team is together. Everyone accomplishes more. Amen. We accomplish more together because we work in unity for him. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Hallelujah. So believers serving with passion and a smile. Bloom where you're planted. Let me read this to you. And those of you that are joining us, just have it. What are doing? Here it is. Listen to this. <laughs> Bloom where you're planted. God has put you where you are for a reason. You are there to inspire, yeah. to bless, to create a positive influence. You are there to be his hand, his feet, his mouth. Because he can use you to carry out his work. Continue to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. If you want a copy of that, let me know. I'll give you a copy. But you know, some of these things, we just got to put up and, and use them all the time. You know, get a menu. Amen. Let me show you. Some of you that are viewing. <laughs> she don't know this, <laughs> but this is one of our church members. <laughs> and she's, she's got copies of songs. She's got copy of handouts she's gotten. And she's got them in this. <laughs> and I'm sure she goes over them all the time, you know. We need to do the same thing. We got to get it in us so it can come out of us. Amen. Amen. We got to get the word of God in us Amen. so it can flow out of us. He says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. So you know what? Just put your hand right there and just say, Lord, release these things to come out of me in Jesus' name. Amen. Release your word to come out of me. Amen. You know, don't say, I can't learn all that. Don't say, I cannot. 
because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. So praise God. I know she's probably embarrassed. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know what? I'm so happy for her because, you know, <clears throat> some of us grab something and just water it up and throw it away. Or we just leave it and walk away. You know, a lot of people do that. And then when they get in trouble, ah, I should have kept it. Mm-hmm. You know, if you got the word in you, it goes everywhere you go. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to race back and say, well, I need to call pastor. Well, I need to call brother, sister, so-and-so. They're always in the word. Mm-hmm. Well, what's your problem? <laughs> this is a new year, a new, a new time to start studying now. Eh? Study to show yourself approved. Get the word in you. And wherever yeah. you go, God is with you. And guess what? When the enemy sees you, <laughs> he don't see you. He sees who's in you. <laughs> he sees who's back in you. Amen. The greater one is in you. And he's going to walk away. Amen. He's going to say, I'm out of here. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. Christian better than amen and me all day. Come on now. <laughs> so bloom where God has you. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> be joyful. Be happy. We're going to be talking about these things. Amen. So open the new year with the bang. Christians should be the happiest, the most happy. joyful people in this world. <laughs> When we first come to Christ, you know, we're so happy, we're so excited, and then you see what happens. If you're not in relationship, I mean, if you're not having a daily relationship, you start to slip. And if you're not feeding your spirit the word, and if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God and crucifying your flesh, guess what? <laughs> the world and people are going to attach themselves to you. Mm-hmm. And pretty soon you're going to be walking with the world yeah. and not with God. Amen. And you're going to forget these things. The next thing you know is, well, you had your priority, God first. Mm-hmm. And now your priority has slipped and slipped mm-hmm. and slipped and gone down. Mm-hmm. Amen. And we've let the world in. So we have, we have to be careful not to do that. Amen. Uh, let me see. Give me the first one, uh, Carmen. This is our first uh, scripture here says that, of course, we're supposed to be the happiest people. And, and this is, tells us, in Jer- uh, Nehemiah 8.10, uh-huh. and this is 8.10b, is towards the end of the uh, verse, okay? But it says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. You know, you need God's strength. Mm-hmm. You need his word everywhere you go, amen? Yeah. You need him anywhere you go, period. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me read it to you. Start celebrating your life. Be joyful, be happy. Don't just endure your days, enjoy your yeah. days. Amen. <laughs> but you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You, you, you know, you come to work <laughs> or you, you come and uh, you gather yourself to a crowd and all they're talking about is doom and gloom. Mm. All they're talking about is bad all news. Right. Well, you know what? <laughs> you bring the good news. Mm-hmm. Amen. And let them know. Don't just join the crowd mm-hmm. and accept what they're saying mm-hmm. or, or just be silent. Remember, you're his ambassador. The Bible says that we're new creatures in Christ. Yeah. Old things have gone out, new things have come in. Mm-hmm. Amen? So we're his mouthpiece. We're his ambassador. And, and don't just be silent. When you go to say something, you know, you walk away and you, you, you say, I should have said something. Well, don't be ashamed of him. He said, I'll be ashamed of you. Just let him know. Say, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm having a blessed day. I'm having a good day. And I'm rejoicing and being glad because... The word of God tells me so. Uh, don't be don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. Smile. <laughs> we talked about this last week, all the, all last week. Somebody said, "Smile gives you a facelift." <laughs> yeah. It gives you a facelift. Let me see. And it gives you a spirit lift. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and it gives you frown a break. <laughs> Put the frown away. Amen. Put the smile yes. on. Amen. Amen. Woo, some of us need a nice face lift. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Get around Christian friends and enjoy. Mm. Laugh and smile. Uh, go to the next one, Carmen. Psalms 34 and 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is what? Good. Bad. Oh, good. Last half you're fortunate to be envied. Is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. Amen. Amen. You know, people are going to envy you. See, why are you always, you know, they get mad because why are you always smiling? Uh-huh. <laughs> they want to know. So you let them know. Let them know. Hey, Jesus is in me because I love Jesus and he loves me. Amen. Praise God. 
and go to the next. We're just going to review in some things here. Psalms 37, 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your yeah. heart. Amen. He wants to bless you. He wants to give you those desires. Mm -hmm. But you know, we got to delight ourselves in him. You know, we just yeah. don't put him aside. Remember the spirit tire, spirit tire treatment is, well, we just put him away and bring him out in case of emergencies. Come on now. No. I'm talking to somebody. Some of you are watching. Some of you are listening. Mm -hmm. All you're doing is just put him aside, put him away. And we bring him out maybe every Easter, maybe every Christmas. <laughs> we think about him. Mm -hmm. Or maybe every time you have a crisis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't do that. That's not relationship. No. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Let me read it to you the way I wrote it here. It says, Delight, enjoy yourself also in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. When he gives you the desires of your heart, you know what? When you give a child something, what do you do? You put a big smile on their face, and we need that smile. Amen. <laughs> be ready. Be ready. Because when people ask you, why do you always smile? You got to let them know. God loves you. And I'm God's child. Amen. Praise God. Keep going, Thank husband. The Lord. It says, Proverbs 17, 22, this is the NIV, but it says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Amen. Amen. And I wrote it from the uh, New Living Translation. A cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good medicine, mm -hmm. but a broken spirit zaps, saps a person's strength. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we put ourselves in these situations. Don't allow yourself to be put there. Yeah. Amen. What does the Word of God say? If you reading the Word, if you're spending time with Him, you wouldn't allow yourself to be put there. Yeah. Amen. But we listen to the crowd, we listen to the world, we listen to the sad news, and pretty soon we're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. We can't go there. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says Proverbs seventeen twenty eight. I mean, excuse me, seventeen twenty two. Mm -hmm. A cheerful, happy, joyful heart. It's good medicine. Yes. And we need this. Amen. Yes. Every morning when you wake up, before you even get out of bed, I encourage you to declare this loud. I am going to enjoy this day. Why? Yes. I'm glad you asked why. Mm. Turn it. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. This is the day. This is why? Because this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. And I or we or yes. Jose will rejoice and be yes. glad in it. Yes. Psalms 118, 24. Yeah. Make sure I get it right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Psalms 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Remember I told you about writing in your Bible. We're starting the year. <laughs> you can go ahead and scratch things out, or you can mm -hmm. highlight things, you know, and start learning scripture mm -hmm. one at a time. Yes. But this yeah. is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Before you go out the door. Because once you go out the door, the world's going to have you. Mm -hmm. And the world's going to tell you different. And the world's going to try to fill you with bad news, sad news, all kind of things. Yeah. But I say, you know what? I'm not receiving that. I already know I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it because the word of God tells me so. Uh -huh. Decide to be happy, joyful, and, and, and a smile right where you are. Bloom where you're planted. Uh -huh. And I'm going to read you some. I'm not going to read them all to you, but you have a list. I don't know what color you got. But it says, keys to bloom where you are planted. Uh-huh. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. But you know, it says, know God by having a personal relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. Know you have a call from God. You know, a lot of people, and sometimes including parents, you know, <laughs> tell you, I brought you here, I can take you out. You know, you're nobody, you're no good, you know, and tell you all kinds of negative things. It starts at home. And then, you go in the world and they'll tell you the same thing. You're not qualified. You're no good. Mm. You can't do that. Mm. God has a plan for you. Yes. You're here. First of all, you're here because God put you here. Yeah. God planted you here. And he has a mission for you. Remember, he's called you. He's anointed you. He's qualified yes. you. And he's approved you. So don't quit, quit, quit trying to accept the world. Or, or world's approval. Amen? Mm -hmm. Know you are in God's will. Know God is your source. Know your rewards are laid up in heaven. Mm -hmm. Know that you are important to him. Trust yes. in God's grace and anointing on your life. Trust in him with all your heart. Whew. Hallelujah. I'm just going to skip some of these, but they're all good. Amen? They are all good. <laughs> 
Do your blessed and blue work and God has sent you. Serve all as if you were serving Jesus. And that's what Colossians tells us. Amen. Amen. Whatever you do, do it as unto God mm -hmm. because you serve Jesus. Amen. Yes. It says, you love a servant's heart. Matthew, we found this out last week. Matthew 20 uh, and verse 28 says that Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Mm -hmm. So he's our greatest example. Yes. Okay, so if you haven't learned how to serve, now's the time to develop that. Mm -hmm. Walking in love. Walk without offense. Maintain your joy in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Be willing to do whatever is asked. Big or small. Don't be like the world. All I want to do is just be in the spotlight where all I want to do is big things, you know. Mm. No. If he wants you to do small or big, it doesn't matter. If you're doing it under him, he's going to bless you. Yeah. Walk it in love. Walk without offense. <laughs> Maintain your joy. Be yeah. patient. Uh, judge yourself. Never quit. Be faithful. Be dependable. Be a good hearer and doer. Be a good follower and a good leader. Always remain sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Be willing to change directions. <laughs> You're going one way, but if he says go the other way, mm -hmm. then change directions. Yes. Amen. We're always trying to talk God, you know, bless my, my plan. Mm -hmm. He said, well, you know, my plan. I've got plans for you, and my plans are already blessed. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going this way, but he says, no, go the other way. Mm -hmm. Amen. They taught us how to do an about face in the military real well, and I can do an about face real well. Amen. We need to do this. Maintain a positive attitude. Be big enough to be rebuked and corrected. I tell you this all the time. If I say something, let me know. I can be corrected. Be a person of excellence and integrity. That's just only a few. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And bless me. I don't know about you. Amen. But this, these are basic things that we really need to remind ourselves. Amen. We can, we can check in, in some of these things. Amen. We have a wrath back there. It's one of those things. Amen. Make a firm decision to enjoy your mission or your journey. Mm -hmm. When you do, you will begin to experience the abundance. Mm -hmm. Ha ha. Joy-filled life that Jesus died to give you. John 10.10 10 says, the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy, but I have come. He says, Jesus came that you might have life and have it more yes. abundantly. Yes. You know, yes. not just barely getting by. That's right. You know, and not just being sad or doom and gloom, you know, mm -hmm. but he wants us to have life more abundantly. But we got to get the truth in us so the truth is going to set us free mm -hmm. from this mindset that we've been taught. Mm -hmm. Got to break those mindsets, you know. Yes. Got to get away from that. Woo. How generational curses. Break those. Get away from those. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Woo. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, let me see what the next one is. Coming. Okay. We're going to be talking about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. John 3, 16. Well. Yes. Uh, Philippians 4 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, Rejoice. Yeah. 1 Thessalonians 5 16, Be joyful uh, all, all the times. Rejoice always. And John 3 16 says, For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his mm -hmm. only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. life. John 3 16. Amen. Amen. He was the first one to get it. I want my people back. So he sent his Son and crucified his Son. To gain us back. So, <laughs> church, <laughs> those listening, those watching, salvation mm -hmm. is a free gift from God. Yes, but we have to receive it. If you've That's ever right. received Jesus, all you have to do is say, I've sinned against you. I repent. I, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you don't know, start living for him. Start walking with him. And get into a Bible-based church where you can learn the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And start growing and going for him. Amen. That's, that's all it takes. Yeah. What you're doing is you're changing directions. Yes. You're no longer following the world. Now you're following him. Amen. 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 We all need to do this. Amen. Most people, including Christians, spend most of their lives defeated, uptight, upset, overstressed, and discouraged. Mm. All right. We need to stop that. Mm. Amen. Because of their joy and happiness is based entirely on circumstances. Wrong job, wrong career, wrong relationships, wrong friends, and wrong habits. We need to stop that and just confess it to him, give it to him. He already knows. You know, he knows the worst about you, and he, he loves you the most. Yes. He sacrificed his son to gain this back. Amen? Amen? So, you know, on a daily basis, constantly cast all these cares, all these problems that's coming against you. Amen? Whatever giants you face on a daily basis, yes. 
whatever cares you, you face on a daily basis, Amen. just cast them on him, he says, mm -hmm. because I care for you. I want you to fulfill this mission, and I don't need you overstressed. I don't need you overweight in anything you're doing. Just yeah. give it all to me and press on Amen. and do the things I've called Amen. you to do. Amen. And the Bible says we can do all, all things, things through Christ who strengthens us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Amen. now we're starting new. <laughs> we're keeping our joy. And we already uh, saw that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Joy is the result of, this is joy, knowing the results of whose you are mm -hmm. and who you are in him. And once you know who your God is and you have a relationship with him, it's going to keep a smile on your face. Amen. So I've got another handout. I wanted to do a couple of things to you. <laughs> and it goes like this. It says, let your say-sos be according to God's word oh, yeah. this new year, 2020. I encourage you this new year yeah. to send your words remember words are seeds words are, yeah. are carriers mm -hmm. of good and bad of life and death mm -hmm. amen so you sent your words out in a positive direction in the right direction yeah. speaking positive confessions over your life by choosing to change your say so mm -hmm. by choosing your, to change your words it says death and life are in the power of the word mm -hmm. of your tongue in other words, words you speak. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I wrote it here in Proverbs uh, 18, 21. It says, words can bring death or life. Mm -hmm. Too much talk, you will eat everything you say. Mm -hmm. So you may be saying it to somebody else, but it's going to come right back at you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you know, before you shoot your word gun, <laughs> be careful mm -hmm. and not just to shoot it off. If it's positive, fine. If it's negative, don't shoot it. Don't sow that seed, the negative seed. Amen? Right. And there's a few uh, uh, of your say-sos here. Confess these daily instead of the negative confessions. You know, you say, well, you know, I don't want to say these every day. Well, we confess negative things daily. Mm -hmm. And we don't mind doing it. Mm -hmm. So be careful with that. But some of your say-sos are like this. Listen, I am blessed. Yes. I am a winner. Mm -hmm. I am prosperous. I am strong. I am healthy. I am talented. I am uh, creative. I am faithful. I'm secured. I'm disciplined. I'm focused. I am attractive. Mm -hmm. I am uh, valuable. Yes. I'm an overcomer. Amen. I am more than a conqueror. Mm -hmm. I am well liked. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I am fun to be around. Show yourself friendly. <laughs> Amen. Show yourself to be friendly. Have a good personality. Yeah. The right people are in my future. Amen. Amen. I'm confessing these things. The right people are in my future. The right opportunities are heading my way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will accomplish my dreams, my visions, my mission. Amen. <laughs> With, just be careful of those vision busters, those dream busters. Okay? Oh, because they come around you all the time. Mm -hmm. it's, sometimes it's family. Sometimes <laughs> it's co-workers. <laughs> They, you know, you, you share with them, so be careful who you vent to. Mm -hmm. Because they, they're they going to be jealous, and they're going to try to stop you right mm -hmm. then. So you mm -hmm. know what? Still, if God told you, press on and fulfill that. Mm -hmm. I will overcome every obstacle. This is my year to break through. Yes. You know, it always happened to somebody else. Well, this is your year to break yes. through. Amen. 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 Why not? I'm a child Amen. of God. I have God's favor, the favor of God. Is mine. I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Yes. Listen to this. When you begin to say your positive say so's, <laughs> you will be joyful, <laughs> you will be happy, yes. and your life will never be the same. Right. God will bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Yes. Get ready for God to do the impossible in your life. Yes. Amen. With God, the impossibles become. I am possible. Amen. I am Amen. possible. Not impossible, but I am possible. Mm -hmm. Amen. So have a happy and blessed New Year 2020. Amen. Amen. You know, these things will bless you. Yes. But you have to confess them. Mm -hmm. You know, just like we confess the negative, we got to confess the positive and stop on the negative. Yes. Amen. Because yeah. death and life are in the power of uh -huh. the words you speak. Yeah. So we're starting a new year. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. 
to go over some of these things and yeah. start confessing the right things, yeah. saying the right things. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so be led by the Spirit this new year. Keep your joy by allowing the Holy Spirit to lead, guide us the way we should go. Amen. Proverbs 16 and 9 says, People can plan what they want to do, but it is God who guides and directs their step. And then the Bible also says, the steps of a righteous person are ordered of yes. God. Yes. Amen. So all we need to do is trust him. Lord, I'm yes. trusting you. Thank you know, Lord. and uh, when he says to follow my plan, his plan is already blessed. Yes. And your steps are ordered of him. So you yes. press on with what he's called you to do. So many people yes. complain about how boring life is. Mm. I know you've never been around nobody like that. <laughs> <laughs> they need to check their priorities mm -hmm. and you know when you're around you let them know mm -hmm. about your priorities are you serving God is God your first priority mm -hmm. Matthew 6 33 says seek first the kingdom of God his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you so <laughs> they've lost their first love mm -hmm. they open the door for the enemy for the world and for other distractions to come in Get back in relationship with God. Remember the prodigal son? He said, man, I'm out of here. You know, so a lot of us have walked away from God. Mm -hmm. And just say, man, God got it. You know, I'm feeling God. I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. And I don't need you anymore. So I'm just going to walk away. Yeah. The prodigal son says, Dad, give me what's mine and I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Until the world got a hold of him. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He says, I can do better at Father's house. Mm -hmm. I'll just go back mm -hmm. and beg my way through. Father, when, when the father, you know, the father expected him all every day, mm -hmm. and he saw him coming, and he ran to meet him, mm -hmm. and received him, and the son tried to make all kind of excuses about why, you know, I could just be a slave, I could be your servant, you know, mm -hmm. and do this and that. The father said, "I already have plans for you. I, yeah. I, I, I you got, I got plans for you, and yeah. these are your plans." He told his servants to go kill the fat calf, mm -hmm. you know, put a ring. In his finger, mm -hmm. you know, put a robe on him. Yes. So God has plans for you, Amen. and none of yes. none none of these plans include defeat. That's right. Hmm? Just blessings, blessings, yes. blessings. Amen. So That's get right. back in relationship with God. Life is not born. No, get not. your priorities right. Mm -hmm. Don't let your priorities slip. Life is not born if we're led by the Holy Spirit. That's right. Amen. And we know that those steps are ordered by God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We will lose our joy if we're not willing to get out of our boat, mm. out of our box, yeah. out of our comfort zone, yeah. and be led by the Holy Spirit. Some of us need to get away, get away from the church box. <laughs> 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 you know what a church box is? We come and play church. Mm. Think, well, if I just go and show myself in church, mm, everything's yeah. cool. Well, <laughs> you haven't had a relationship. You're not studying the word, and you're not doing what the word of God tells you to do. Mm -hmm. You just come and show yourself here. You know, uh, you've heard this so many times. I can go standing in in, in the garage and say, "Well, I'm a car," but you're not a car. Yeah, you'll never Amen. be one either. <laughs> if you're going to call yourself a child of God, you better get word in you, Amen. and you better do what the word of God says. Yes. And you know, when you get all these things and you're going in the right direction, when the enemy sees you, he'll flee. Mm -hmm. And you know your authority, and you say, Satan, I'm not listening to your lies anymore. I'm submitting myself to God. I resist you, and you will flee. Yes. He's getting out of your way. Yes, Amen. Yes. And you're not giving him room anymore. That's right. But we need to get these things in us. Amen. Amen. So let's not play church anymore. That's right. Amen. You, Praise God. Woo. We need to simplify our lives this, summer, this uh, new year. Mm -hmm. Don't try to do too much. That's right. Uncomplicate your life. Mm. Satan tries to complicated. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to steal yes. your joy. He wants to steal your happiness. Amen. Yeah. You got all these cares all on you, you know. You got all these weights on you. Mm -hmm. Keep you busy all the time instead of enjoying God. I told you this. When Jesus came to Mary's house, Mary and Martha's house, mm -hmm. Mary saw and recognized that's Jesus. You know, she came to serve. Martha's too busy trying to impress. Mm -hmm. And then she got so overwhelmed, she said, why don't you have her come help me? Yeah. <laughs> we need to get our priorities right. Mm -hmm. Mary had her priorities right, Martha did. Yes. 
Amen. That's right. So praise God. He was doing good. Enjoy your relationship with God. Enjoy time with family and friends. Take time to laugh and crack a smile. Some of us really need to <laughs> smile. <laughs> you know what? Some of us have real pretty smiles. We just don't practice. <laughs> Take time to enjoy life. And uh, another handout. I'm glad those of you uh, watching or listening. These are called B, B E, attitudes. <laughs> B attitudes. Oh, God. And it's a whole bunch of them. Yes. But it says be yourself. Yeah. Be committed. Uh -huh. Be excited. Be joyful. Be uh, uh, be joyful. Be happy. Be victorious. Be prayerful. Be loving. Be thankful. Be encouraged. Uh -huh. Be available. Yeah. Be obedient. Be wise. Be merciful. Be patient. Be responsible. Be faithful. Be creative. Be forgiving. Be effective. Uh -huh. Trustworthy. Be devoted. Be kind. Be dependable. Mm -hmm. Amen. On and on and on. Yeah. It's just all these things that we can see that we can do. I'm a child of God. I want to be these things. Amen. Yeah. Be focused. Be healed. Yeah. Be healed. Be healed. God made you to be healed, not to be sick. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be committed. Be blessed. Be honest. Be excellent. Be mm -hmm. somewhat. Be helpful. Be generous. Be positive. Be giving. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's to be give. Mm -hmm. To give. Amen. We're, that'll be another lesson. But we're to give. It says give and it shall be given unto you. Mm -hmm. Some of us need to learn how to give. Because all we do is take. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> those that give are more blessed. Amen. God wants to bless you, but you never learn to give. You got to give. And there's so many things to give. Yes. Amen. That's <laughs> another list. Be a champion. Be a winner. Be strong. Be an overcomer. Be dedicated. Be uh, ready. Yes. Be enthused, enthusiastic. Uh, be trustworthy. Be loyal, be holy, be brave, yeah. be a winner for God. Amen. Yes. All these things. Hallelujah. I mean, on and on and on. But those are things that you can get in us, you know. Once you get it in you, it's going to come out of you. Yeah. You know, so you don't uh, sit there and meditate and say, oh, man, I'm so bored. <laughs> <laughs> but why don't you start meditating on the Word? Mm -hmm. Why don't you start meditating on some of these things? Mm -hmm. You know, or read some of these things. Sometimes we got to Kick, kick start ourselves, you know, yeah. and, and open it up and start reading it and say, oh, it all come back to me now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bible says renew your mind with the word of God. Yes. If you don't renew your mind, you're going to fall back to the world. Mm -hmm. and you're going to fall back to the old things, you yes. know. So, but still, we got to renew or uh, simplify our lives. Amen. Yes. Praise God. <laughs> We're not going to finish this and I'm not Sorry. trying to finish <laughs> Oh, Psalms 100. We're talking yeah. about uh, uh, being, uh, <clears throat> we read it last week, but let's read it again. You know, you can read it every day. Amen. Amen. I mean, it's up here. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. It says, know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people in the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. I mean, <laughs> this is awesome. If this don't put a smile in your face, when you do need to get saved. <laughs> God didn't save you to be sad. That's right. Amen. God didn't save you uh -uh. so you can live a defeated life. That's right. When you get the word of God in you, Amen. you know what authority you have. Yes. And take authority and start confessing the word of God and start giving of yourself. And guess what? You're going to be blessed. Yes. And you, when, you, when he blesses you, you're blessed. You're blessed by the best. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Not only that, when you get full of the word, it says, be bold. You're going to be bold. Hebrews 4.16 says, let us come boldly to the throne of, God, uh, of gracious, our gracious God. Yes. There we can receive his mercy and we will find 
grace to help us when we need it most. Amen. Amen. Ooh, Hallelujah. You, so you know what? You can come boldly to him. Yeah. He's, he doesn't want to punish you. You know when so-and-so says, you know what well, God can't use you now because mm -hmm. you've done something wrong. Mm -mm. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. Quit listening to the wrong people. Mm -hmm. Quit listening to people that are not based on the word. Mm -hmm. If they're not confessing the word, if they don't know the word of God and they tell you something, you don't have to follow that. Mm -hmm. Even if they know the word and they tell you something, you bounce it off the word. Mm -hmm. And if the word says something else, you go with the word. Yes. Amen. You will. You go with what the word of God says. Yes. So nobody can feed you no bad information. Right. Be bold and confident in God when you pray. Yeah. Don't be doubt. Don't be double minded when you ask for his blessings. Mm -hmm. Just ask for what you need boldly and in faith without wavering, hesitating, or doubting. That's right. Well, maybe he wants to bless you. Maybe he'll hear me. Maybe get all that doubt out of there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Since without faith it is impossible to please God. You got to have faith. When you pray, believe you receive, have faith. Amen. And be bold. Amen. Without wavering, without doubting, knowing that your righteousness is of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> ah, let me see. I don't even know what I put on. But <laughs> I wrote something to myself. I don't know if I read you this one. This church... Is not an audience to be entertained. I think yours is in red. <laughs> Churches is not an audience to be entertained. It is an army to be empowered. Amen. You are the army of God mm -hmm. going somewhere to happen. Amen. And you need his power. You need yes. his word yes. in you to go Thank and do Lord. and accomplish and have authority to do what yes. God has called you to do. So, you, you know, too many churches... <laughs> Too many churches are just coming in to see how they could be entertained, mm. you know. And we're not here to entertain. Mm -hmm. You know, too many churches and too many Christians have allowed the Word of God, uh, instead of convicting them, to offend them. Uh -huh. If All God right. wants, wants to get to you, that Word is going to... Uh, convict you. Yeah. I need to do better. Mm -hmm. Amen. That was for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was for me. And you can say, man, that was for me. I needed yeah. this. Okay. Yeah. I really needed this. Mm -hmm. It convicted me. So I stand corrected. But no, now lately is <laughs> I'm not going there anymore because all they do is talk the word of God and, and uh, <laughs> it offends me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're offended, you need to get saved or get your relationship back with God. Amen. Amen. Do the right thing. But the church of God, we, yeah. listen, I've said this so many times, but we don't come to church. We assemble ourselves together in this building. Yeah. We are the church. Amen. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Going somewhere to happen. But you got to be empowered. Yes. You can't go anywhere without the power of God. That's right. Amen. The greater one is in you. He's yes. back in you. He's with you. Use his authority. So yes. we're not here to be entertained. We're here to be empowered. Amen. And how do we get empowered? By hearing the word. Yes. And allowing the word to come in. Yes. Convict us or bless us yes. or change us. Whatever it needs to do. But it's going to get in there and it's going to accomplish what it's meant to do. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Man, I got plenty of camp <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I got one more. I want to stop there. <laughs> all right. There <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Here we go. This is yes. something we need to know. <laughs> yeah. This is the end part of the. Hebrews 13, 5, okay, this is towards Hebrews 13, 5, B. But he says, for he himself said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's right. He's always with you. Guess what? Yeah. Wherever you go, he's yes, with you. Yes. Amen. 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 So, I want to close. Amen. <laughs> and I want to read some of these to you. Amen. I want to read some of this to you. <laughs> and I don't know what color yours is, but that's some nice handouts, nice colors. 
And so you need to stop saying this. Well, God, or you need to not accept that somebody told you uh -huh. God can't use you anymore. Uh -huh. You're not high enough. You're not tall enough. You're not whatever. Uh -huh. You're not good enough. If you think God can't use you, remember this. First of all, if you read about your Bible heroes, the Old Testament, New Testament, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They've all sinned. Uh -huh. So he's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. Amen. That's us. All we need to do is remember the be attitudes, mm -hmm. be available. Yes. Because he's looking and he's calling on you. But we're not answering. Why? Because we're thinking the wrong way. Mm -hmm. We gotta think the way he thinks. Mm -hmm. Amen. And listen to this. If you think God cannot use you. Remember this. Just a few. Noah was a drunk. Mm -hmm. Abraham was too old. Okay? <laughs> Isaac was a daydreamer, a visionary, an airhead. Okay? <laughs> Jacob was a liar. Leah was ugly. <laughs> That's hope for me. <laughs> Joseph was abused. <laughs> yeah, he was sold. He was I mean, all kind of things happened to him. But guess what? <laughs> he never changed his attitude towards God. He never changed his relationship with God. And God promoted him every time. Amen? <laughs> they sold him. They put him in a pit. He came out of the pit. They sold him. And they, put, they put him in a, in a prison. <laughs> and he was promoted up to second in command. Second in, over, over the Egypt. Mm -hmm. Gideon was afraid. Samson had long hair. Oh, um, Scott, there's hope for you, Ray. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Look what it did to the women. Listen, he didn't call us to judge. That's right. Amen. Just be a servant and preach his word. Amen. Just go share share his word. Amen. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah and Timothy were too young. Well, mm -hmm. you're too young. You know, God can't use you right now. I don't think so. The little boy, remember the little boy with the lunch? Mm. His name, he was wrote, he was written in, in the Bible. Mm. He brought his lunch. His mom sent him. And next thing you know, they're writing the Bible. Mm. Lord says, go. He told his disciples to go and find and find out and see what you can find. And the disciples says, Well, <laughs> we'll put him on the spot. We'll just let him know. We'll just bring this lunch. He says, This is all we found. And Jesus says, That's all I need. Amen. All you all they need is you. That's you. Amen. You're the one he's looking for. You're the one to be available, and he can use you. Amen. See yourself that way. David was a little shepherd boy, and guess what? He had an affair, and he was a murderer. And still, he says, David is a man after my heart. And he was promoted from a shepherd to a king. Amen. So don't put yourself down. Lift yourself up. Remember with a smile, it's going to give you a face lift, but it's also going to give you a spiritual lift. Amen? Amen. We need to do these things. <laughs> uh, Elijah was suicidal. Um, oh, God used all these people. Jonah was running from God. How many of us <laughs> were running from God? Where did God find you? You don't have to tell me. But he, some of us he found in places we didn't need to be. Yes. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Naomi mm -hmm. was a widower. Mm -hmm. Rahab was a prostitute. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He assisted the Israelis. Amen. And helped them and brought them in. Helped them in God. You know, he says, you know, me and my family to be saved. And they did. They were saved. Amen. Jacob was bankrupt. <laughs> Peter denied Christ. Oh, my God. You know, people go around telling you God can't use you anymore because you denied Christ, because you did something against him and all these other things. But Jesus turned around and used them in a mighty way. He preached some awesome messages that brought yes. souls into the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. So guess what? It might be your second, your third, your fourth time. It doesn't matter what time it is, how many chances he's given you. Mm -hmm. Just get it right mm -hmm. and stay hooked. Amen. Yes, yes. <laughs> the Samaritan woman was divorced more than once. Oh my God. 
Nikias was too small. Paul was too religious. Timothy mm -hmm. was sick. <coughs> God used a donkey. <laughs> I know he can use Jose. <laughs> he used a, a donkey. <laughs> Not only that, this, 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 this one here is Lazarus was dead. Yeah. <laughs> and the sisters, his sisters told Jesus, said, forget it. He smells now, you know. <laughs> You're late. He's never, he's never too late. Amen. Remember, his, never his, too late. his timing. Yes. He knew to delay himself. Amen. And he delayed himself before he came. And he said, it's too, it's too late. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to make sure man had nothing to do with it. Yeah. It was a God thing. It was a miracle from God. Amen. He told Lazarus to come forth. Death had to give him up. The grave had to give him up. Yes. Lazarus came forth. Amen. Praise God. And he didn't smell. <laughs> Jesus used them all and can use you. Amen. You remember this. You got to get this through you. Okay? Get rid of all the mindsets, all the negative things. God can use you. And I wrote this. This, this uh, new year, the new beginnings, no more excuses. We're one body, <coughs> many, many, many parts. That's us. We're the parts Amen. of the body that he can use. He's called us to do different things. He's the head and we're the body on earth. God is not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. Amen. Amen. Be committed this new year. Fulfill your part. Jesus called you, chose you, equipped you to fulfill a mission. Be a winner. Be a champion for him. Uh, don't let no devil, no distraction, or anyone stop you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. Be blessed and have a happy new year. Amen. So praise God. Um, if that don't bless you, I don't know, or will you come up here and and we can pray for you, and you can get saved. <laughs> and you can be happy. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. I hope that bless somebody. It blessed me. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. We didn't already pray to them. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, if you haven't accepted Christ, start this new year by accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yeah. And all you have to do is say, Lord, I failed you. I've sinned against you. And I repent. I ask you to come be my Lord and Savior. I want to do for you this year. And guess what? He's going to use you. He'll never throw you away. Right. Amen. Just get yourself in a Bible-based church where you preach the Word of God, they teach the Word of God, and get yourself a Bible and start reading for yourself. Get the Word in you so it'll come out of you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's it. I'm